How's it going everyone? This is GC Performance here. Uh, we have the Specialized Tarmac SL7 frame build with SRAM Red Axis and then CLX Alpinist wheels. Weighs in at 6.73 kilos, 14.13 ounces. Insane. Uh, stay tuned to the after video where you hit a free body sound test on those wheels. All right guys, thank you. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is GC Performance here back with another video. Today I have for you guys the Specialized Tarmac SL7 frame in the black spectral cool dove gray color, I believe. Uh, very cool limited color. Uh, even if you go on specialized.com, they don't even offer this color on the website to look at. I don't know if it's um, uh, maybe offered in, in the EU side, but on the United States side on the webpage, they don't show this color. So I thought it was really cool when they got into the store. Uh, and I'll kind of go over this. This is a custom build. We did some different things for the... Uh, handlebars because obviously the Aerofly 2 shortages are there and also the wheels are more of a climbing wheel set because the customer wants to make it more of a uh, lightweight bike. So I'm going to get into everything on the bike. We'll go over the weight, the specs, and everything like that and I'll show off the paint job too. So starting off with the bike, it weighed in at 14 pounds, 13 ounces. Retail on it, I'm going to guess around, I think I think we finished building it like 12, 2, somewhere similar. It has a power meter, it has everything that the normal bike would. Those wheels retail for 2500 just as well as the CLX Rapides. Um, they are the CLX Alpinist, so there's nothing really different there. And everything else is the same, similar to spec. So it's around $2,500. Uh, I'm sorry, for the wheels. So it was like 12 2 12 3 somewhere around there. Uh, but we'll go get right into it. So starting with the handlebar, this is going to be the Zip SL70 Aero. Uh, the only difference is that the Aerofly 2 bar by Specialized S-Works, uh, we cannot get those in right now. They're completely sold out. So we got a bunch of these handlebars in to complete these tarmac builds that we have coming in. Very good looking, very minimal cables right here. Uh, the customer wanted me to leave a little bit extra cable just in case you want to go with a longer stem. If it was just me building this thing stock for floor and I wanted to make it clean, I could probably route this a little bit cleaner, make it a little bit tighter, like pull the cable. So I think these bars look really good and I think it actually matches the stem really well. You look here, we have like a matte carbon with a gloss logo right there. It kind of matches the stem with a matte look and the gloss right there. So. Very good looking bar, especially with all the designs too on this thing. Um, I think it looks really good with all the stripes. So the bar choice, very, very, very nice. I mean, I can't complain about it all. Um, stem on here is gonna be the S-Works stem, the Tarmac stem. These do come with a frame set. So if you are wondering, if you do buy a frame for $5,000, it does come with the, uh, the stem, uh, titanium bolts. It comes with the mount as well. So if you needed to uh, put on the Garmin mount, we just don't know what he's gonna put on there yet, but it works with Garmin, Wahoo, Cat Eye, um, you can mount a GoPro underneath there as well. Has all the lights and limit on there. Now, sunlight's really good, so I kind of wanted to show off this paint job because it looks sick. So it's a matte black right here. The S works, and the front specialized logo is a dove gray. So dove gray here, dove gray here. I'm kind of show off down here. Take like a sparkly dove gray, and it gets into like a, it's like really kind of like just looks like splatter paint job, but it's like a cool gray color. Very nice. You have the 12 R carbon there. And then it goes up into some stripes right there, like zebra stripes. And then this is cool. Matte carbon, cool gray. And it kind of goes into like a dusty bronze color right there. And then again to matte black all the way up. And then the stripes end and goes back into that kind of splatter color. Very, I mean, this is one of the nicest looking paint jobs out, I think, that they offer. Very cool looking. I gotta say, Specialized, you guys killed it with the paint job on this bike. I know I just showed off the Amanda with the Project One, but you see a bike like this, man, it really catches your eye. Very good looking bike. Bring on over to the other side. Really focus on that bottom bracket area. I mean, it's amazing. Very good looking. Okay, so back to the bike. These are the SL70 Aero bars. They work great. I've seen other bars as well on these types of builds. I've seen the brand Pro by Shimano. Uh, their bars work. Any kind of bars will work on here. You just have to be able to run it right. It's, that's fine. Um, S works. Uh, stem on here. This is a hundred millimeter stem. Bars are 42 millimeter, 42 centimeter across. Nothing crazy. Shifters we went with the whole group. He went with the SRAM Red Axis. So you have the wireless shifters, hydraulic disc brakes, very smooth, easy to use. Wheels we chose to go with the CLX Alpinist wheels. Reason for that is because he wanted to go with a lightweight wheel. Uh, it's about like a 200 gram difference between the Alpinist versus the Rapides. Still, the Alpinist wheels are going to be not tubeless ready, and they do not have ceramic bearings in there, but they are 33 millimeters of, of uh, dish depth, 
and uh, a very lightweight. I think they're one of the lightest weight retail wheels on the market. I, I looked to compare them to Envy. Uh, they're about like 100 grams or 200 grams difference between Envy as well. So very good wheels. I mean, solid. Uh, these were these were one of the first clincher wheels to win a, a Tour de France stage when uh, Julian Alphilippe had them. So very nice looking wheels. They actually complement the bike really well. Bar tape is super cast tape. We put on here as well. Going on down to the paint job, you guys saw that. The chain ring we chose for this is going to be a SRAM Red uh, dub crank with a 4835 tooth chain ring. And then it has a cork power meter on there. We have the SRAM Red front derailleur, the SRAM Red uh, chain as well, the flat top chain. There's your little master link right there. Of going for the cassette, he chose to do a 1026 because it is flat for Florida. Uh, and then also, you have your SRAM Red wireless 12 speed rear derailleur. He did also get an extra cassette that he bought from us, a 1033, uh, just in case, because he didn't want to take this bike. He also has a couple other homes. Uh, get it, you know, he's asked for his buyer. So, of course, it makes sense he has extra homes. But uh, yes, just in case you want to take it for climbing. CLX Alpinist wheels in the rear as well. He kept, kept to go with the turbo tires. Now, granted, I would go with a black tire on here. I think it would complement the bike way better than this. This bike does still look good with these gumball tires, but I would just choose to go with a uh, black tire. I think it looks a lot better. Uh, normal hub test on there. I have the hub test on there as well uh, after the video. Going on to the other side, this is the SL7 frame. We do have the threaded bottom bracket on here. So a threaded SRAM dub bottom bracket on here. And then going up here, we have the SL7 proprietary seat post with the integrated seat wedge right there. Boom. That was a great out of focus shot. Boom right there. And then the SRX power saddle we have up top here. And then because it is SRAM right ETAP, all we have back here is just a little cover plate. Now I'm gonna show you guys the cable routing for underneath here. Like I said, I definitely could have made this cleaner, but I think he's gonna go with a longer stem. He's just waiting for it to come in stock. So I kept it, but if I was to make this uh, like my bike or I knew which stem like they'll be, I just pull that thing tight. There wouldn't be any issues, but very easy to wrap these bars. If you guys are looking for bars to build, if you guys are having a tarmac frame or considering bars to pick, these bars are a great, great choice. And I think they complement the bike good. They look really tight. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like that look a lot. Something different than just like a big old Mr. Good Bar chocolate bar with some dimples like the Aerofly. It gives it some character, some curvature, ergonomics, the bike looks clean, so. But all in all, I say one of the nicest looking builds I've done. 14.13 pounds, 14 pounds, 13 ounces for an SL7 integrated aero road bike with disc brakes on it. Very lightweight build, granted there's no water bottles or pedals on there which everyone's been asking me to do but everyone's pedals that they choose like if i put durry's pedals on here someone be like oh weigh in with the uh, look pedals or if i put a different bottle cage they'll be like oh weigh with this bottle cage so that's preference to what you want subjective to what you want um you know i just get the weights of it for being 14 pounds 13 ounces i think it's an insane build i mean shoot i i, I every other bike that i've weighed in i think they're like 15 pounds so 16 pounds somewhere on there so definitely great build first build that i've done with alpinist wheels on here excited about it let me know what you guys think about this bike down in the comment section i had a blast building this thing hopefully i got one more of these in a 56 i want to do a build video on it it's just very tough right now if i can do it maybe after holidays i'll get into it so uh, let me know if you guys want me to do a build video on it um well i just come here after work after hours and just pay someone to film me doing it try to get it going but thank you guys again so much hopefully you guys enjoyed this build as much as i did i think it's a beautiful color if you guys have any questions please leave me a comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and please subscribe if you guys enjoy the content i have much more christmas day i think i'm going to do a the carbon limited edition rip rock the the hot walk i mean the thousand dollar kids bike i might do like a little unboxing video and build up with that with maybe my daughter or something like that so hopefully i'll see you guys in that video and if i don't see you guys before then happy holidays merry christmas everything like that and i'll see you guys then thank you guys so much all right guys a specialized tarmac sl7 with clx alpinist wheels here comes a free buy sound test sounds pretty good all right guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye